Hey guys, Ultra Maximus official merchandise is now available on my Spring Store. Help support the channel and shop by clicking the link below. Oh, hey look, it's Pinkie Pie. Hey guys, Ultra Maximus back with another toy review, and today we're going to take a look at another Transformers figure. It's the Transformers Studio Series RC from the Bumblebee movie. Now, I've actually had this figure for a while and just haven't gotten around to review it, and I picked it up the other day and figured, why not? Let's go ahead and check her out. So let's take a look at the packaging. Here we have RC in the package. It's that open face box type I hate. It's got all the logos everywhere. Bumblebee at the top. And it's got the pictures of her on the sides. And is it me or does she look like a gray alien? But yeah, there's the artwork from the movie. And then we get a closer shot of her alien face. And then this side's got the embossed Autobot logo. And there she is again. I definitely like the design of this second movie better. But there she is in a robot in vehicle mode. Some kind of motorcycle type thing. It looks like a Cybertronian. And then she's got her diorama. And that's really about it for the package. Let's get her out of box and see what we think. So here we have RC out of the packaging. And it's a pretty good figure, I will say. It does look like the character from the movie. Um, I like the scale of this figure. I think this is a lot better for RC than the core class. Uh, I wish we had gotten a larger figure of her in Rise of the Beast, but uh, yeah, this looks pretty darn cool. She does have her two blasters right here. And she comes with her diorama, so here we have Cybertron on fire. So if you like these things, you can put the figure in the diorama. I'm not into these. I don't even keep these, but uh, yeah. She does come with that for those who like to display with the dioramas, which, you know, that works if that's your thing. Now, the figure has got the guns here, so just kind of take a look at the guns. They're the same exact gun. Both of them are exactly the same. And they got these little notches on the side, which I found a pretty fun use. So you can actually take that little notch and you can connect it to her backpack back here and make a jetpack. So let's see if we can get this connected. These jetpacks are kind of wobbly because they're on ball joints. But yeah, they will peg on there. Yeah, let me get this out of the way. There we go. So you can plug this in right there. We'll plug in perfectly and then put it down and then we'll grab the other piece. Plug this gun in here. Like this. And now she has a jetpack, and I, I like that. I don't think this is an official mode. I don't think that's official storage, but uh, yeah, there it is. I think it looks pretty cool. It, uh, it works, so you can store those guns back there. So you can give her the little jetpack, which she can take off and fly, I suppose. But yeah, something you can do. Didn't realize that until I was messing around with it. Articulation on this figure is uh, pretty decent. Her head is on a ball joint, moves up and down, left and right. So that's good, I like that. Uh, arm moves up and down and out. We've got a nice hinge joint at the elbow. There's a mushroom peg at the upper bicep. And then her hands do move, but that's for transformation. She's got a swivel at the waist. Legs kick that far forward. They kick back, not too much. They do kick out pretty well. You can see she does have a very nice knee joint. Works well. And she's got that crazy ankle rocker pivot we love! With this being her widest possible stance, with both feet still flat on the floor. Now, taking a closer look at the figure itself, it's sculpted well for what it is. It looks like the character from the movie. However, I'm not a big fan of this face sculpt. It just looks 
odd to me. There's way too much plating around her mouth and cheeks, I think. And the eyes just don't do it. They're very dead and they're not big enough. She needs bigger, brighter blue eyes. I think that would have helped the figure. But everything else looks good. The chest is good. The backpack folds up pretty well. I mean, RC's always had a backpack, so that works. I love the pinks and the whites, kind of a darker white. Um, I think that'll help with the yellowing. I like the transparent blue windshield on the back, the blacks. Everything looks really, really good. I like the little antenna on her helmet. I mean, it just screams RC. Looking at the midsection of the figure, again, sculpted well. I like the chest. The waist looks good. She's got the little pink and white bikini going on there. Her white on her legs, her thighs look really good. Very ballish, ballish, roundish. Uh, very feminine looking, uh, which fits RC very well. I think they did a great job here. And finally, taking a look at the legs of the figure. Again, well done. I like the pink highlights on the knees. Uh, the legs look good. The wheels uh, fold in the back become these nice stabilizers uh, for the feet. And the feet actually stand really well. She's got the nice ankle rocker pivot, even though that's really built in with the transformation. It works well for posing, and it's a very stable character, which can be kind of different for a female figure. For comparison, here we have the Transformers Studio Series, Transformers Bumblebee RC, and the Transformers Studio Series, Transformers Bumblebee Soundwave, and he towers over her, which is uh, not surprising really. I mean, he's a pretty good size figure. Soundwave's always been a big, bulkier figure, but he almost a little bit too big, I think. But yeah, I guess it is what it is. Now, transformation on this figure is actually pretty fun and relatively easy. The first thing we want to do is fold in the hands like this, and then we're going to fold her thighs back up into the legs, split the legs open, pull the feet down, and then you're going to pull these wheels up and around, and then you're going to lock them into place. There's a little spot, and then you're going to flip it back. So again, you're going to flip that, pull this up, spin it, lock this into place, and then flip it back to the ankle to give her her roller skates. And then you'll actually connect these wheels together and they will probably pop out as you transform it, so just be aware of that, but uh, that's where they will connect. Then we want to lift her arms up and spin the waist around. And then the next thing that we wanna do is let's fold her arms up like this. And then we're going to get these wings out of the way and then this whole backpack will just kind of accordion fold out so you're just going to literally unfold everything just kind of lift it down straighten things out just keep unfolding everything it will go down and then you can get this out so it'll look like this i'll unfold it out and then you're going to straighten all the pink bits out you're going to take your head, fold this back a little bit, and you're going to get it to the right spot, and it will go down. Um, let me fold it back a little bit more. It'll easily go in once you get this hinge joint right. It'll go right into place, just like that. So there you go. And then fold this back over her head. And then what we want to do next is take this down, these pegs, Right here, we're going to go into the thighs and the shins. So you're going to peg these into place. And again, as you transform it, some of these might pop off as you continue to transform, but it will all lock into place once you're done. But that's where they're going to go. Click them into place right there. Make sure that's there. And then this, you want to fold up. These are going to go into here. Sometimes I can get this to click in perfectly fine, and sometimes I have to disconnect the other pink parts and then align it in let's see okay so there we go get that into place and then attach this back down i just unhinged it and connected in might be a little easier for you tolerance is tight so make sure everything's there and then we're going to take these there is a hole that you're going to put into those ports and then that's going to go into her thigh so get that wrapped around like that and then we're going to spin this one around and do the same thing 
So put the plug into the hole and the other plug into the thigh and then just make sure everything is connected together and you've got your motorcycle mode. Now, you've also got these guns and these turn into the tailpipe, so you don't have to put these on here, but it kind of completes the bike out. So just put the guns into her hands and also hides the hands a little bit. So I think it looks a little better with the tailpipes on there. Just kind of straighten that out. And there we have RC in her Cybertron vehicle mode. So this is a pretty cool mode. I definitely dig it. I think it looks cool. It looks very motorcycle-esque. Uh, it rolls really well, surprisingly. I do like that. I like the design, the curves, the two big wheels up front look really nice. I like how there's no spokes in the middle of the wheels. The back looks pretty good, especially with the tailpipes. It really kind of hides the hands. Overall, it looks kind of like uh, the Light Racer and Tron. I love the windshield, the design. Very cool. Very similar to RC's G1 car mode. It's just way more updated. It reminds me with all the curves. And not too much robot kibble underneath. All in all, I really do like this alt mode. I wish we had it in the movie. So is the Transformers Studio Series RC from Transformers Bumblebee something you want in your Transformers collection? I'm going to say yes. This is a cool figure. It's a good size figure. If you didn't like the size of the Rise of the Beast RC, this is a bigger scale. I personally love the alt mode to this. I think it's very cool, very fun, and I'm surprised we have not gotten repaints of like Moon Racer and Lita One and the Paradrome Medic, and I'd be fine with that. This is a very cool figure. I think kids are gonna like it because it's got a cool alt mode. It's pretty easy to transform. Little girls are gonna love it. I mean, it's a pink RC transformer. They love those things, and uh, yeah, it's definitely an overall fun figure. So there she is. RC from the Transformers Bumblebee movie, Transformers Studio Series line. Hey guys, I want to give a shout out to my top subscribers and to my newest subscribers. Thank you all so much for helping grow the channel. Remember, for every 1,000 subscribers, I'll give you, the fans, a chance to win a free action figure. If you don't see your name and want to be included, like this video, Add a comment down below telling me to add you, and of course, subscribe. Thanks again, and look for more videos in the future. Hey guys, thanks for watching. To watch more Ultra Maximus, click on the links to the right. Be sure to click all the things subscribe, like, and hit that notification bell for new videos. And follow me on all the social medias Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Links in the description below.